In this tutorial, I will show you how to do challenges F, G and H, which are the gold badge tasks. Starting with F, we need to use the existing nightlight, okay? So I'm just continuing on from where I had the nightlight. This time we need to modify it so that the nightlight can be turned on and off also using the PTM switch. Okay, so this is my original, this is E, okay? So I need it to be able to switch on with the push to make button. Okay, so I'm just going to move, that's that's how I think about this, because this is my push to make button, so I could just say, let's bring that in and say, uh, switch that on. Okay, so somewhere I need to include this. Now, if the if it's dark, the light's going to be on anyway. Okay, so if it's dark, the light's going to be on anyway. If it's, this needs to be somewhere in this path here. Okay, so it's coming down here and saying, is it dark? Yes, but the light... If it's not dark, then is the button pushed on? So let's put, move that over there. Okay, and we'll put that in there. So is the button pushed on? Okay, if the answer is yes, we need to put the lights on. Okay, if the answer is no, this is going to be coming out of the way here, we need to switch the lights off. So I'm going to put a, a no in there. Bring that around. Um, I actually don't like pink boxes going up the way, so I'm going to bring that one down the way to there. Okay, so if the answer is no, then this is going to switch the lights off. So it's only going to be off if it's light and the button's not being pushed down. That'll switch on there. And I'm just going to use that wait box there, and that'll link that back around to there. Okay, so let's just check that works. So push play. Okay, so what's happening here? So um, let's. So if it's light, okay, the LED is not on. But what happens if I push the button? Aha! The light comes on. So I push the button. The light comes on. Okay. If it's dark, the lights come on anyway, and, it does, and then it doesn't matter what the button's doing. Okay. So that's challenge F. Okay, to make the the night light mark two just by adding in these extra two boxes here. Okay, running that off there. Let's look at the next one. The next one is to make a music box. So when the button is pushed, happy birthday plays and the red light will illuminate. When the button is pushed while the LDR is covered, a different tune is played and the green LED will come on. Okay, so again, we're gonna to need to have a couple of decisions here. Let's start with a fresh one. Okay, so I could probably use that, but actually I'm just gonna um, start with a fresh one so I can kind of put my, my thinking down. So what is my thinking? Let's have a look. So first of all, it says, when the button is pushed, happy birthday plays and the red light is illuminated. Okay, so let's do that first button thing. So when the button's pushed down, so the answer will be yes. Okay, we need to um, play the tune. Okay, so to play a tune, we need to go down to the tune box. There we go. So that's gonna play a tune. I think it was happy birthday so if I go to tunes happy birthday is right at the top make sure I select g4 because that's obviously seeing which of the outputs is going to play it through and I think it was asking well let's just check I want to say it was the red lights um, the red lights okay so happy birthday red okay so let's go let's just check what is the red light the red light is called g2 so in here, so when the button's pushed, G2 is going to switch on. Okay, just to be sure, I'm going to switch that one off as well. Just, okay, so G2 on, just make sure that one's off. Okay, so that's that first bit done. Let's do the second bit. What is the second bit? When pushed, when the button's pushed while the LDR is covered, a different tune is played and the green light will come on. Okay, so I now need to say, when it's pushed, the LDR is covered as well, a different tune's going to play. So I need to come to the... So if it's pushed and the LDR is covered, so I'll have to bring that down here, use the analog in here. Okay. So this is going to be, is if it's pushed. So this is going to be in the very, very little, right down the bottom here. So this is going to be in the low sensor. So when the button's covered over, so is the button being pushed? Is the LD covered over? Okay, then it's going to play that one. Oh no, sorry, it was it was when the. Let's just check. 
when it's pushed when the LDR is covered, a different tune will play. Okay, so this needs to be in the upper range. So let's just change that. So actually, it's going to be up here. So as long as somebody's not covering, somebody's not pushing the button, it will do this boom. Okay, so that's coming down the way. So this is going to play the different tune. So I need the tune box again. And I believe it wanted the lights put on as well. Okay, so um, 1 0, so let's make this 0 1. Okay, so that's the, the other light that comes on. I'm just going to use a weight. Always a good idea to chuck weights in. Okay, it just slows down your program. It's going to help. Okay, be able to understand what's going on there. Let's bring that up and across. The no, I'm just going to bring to there. Because obviously, if this button's not being pushed, I don't really want it to do anything. So that's just going to loop back around there. If they push the button, it's then going to go into this decision tree. So either it's going to set the red lights on and play happy birthday and loop that background, or it's going to play, let's pick a different tune. Uh, let's go jingle bells. Oh no. Um, let's try classic. What's under classic? Um, Let's go for a bit of uh, Danny Boy. Okay, it probably sound horrendous, but we'll try it. Let's have a go. Make sure it's on G4. That's activated. And say OK. And let's push play button. Okay, so let's just double check. That needs to say one second. The tunes, I don't know whether it's going to play the whole tune or how that's going to work. So we'll have to kind of play that by ear. Let's use the pun and see how it goes. Okay, so let's push play. So nothing's happening at the moment. Let's put the LDR in the up position. Okay. Okay, I believe that was Danny Boy. Now let's now push play and move the light down the way. Okay, so it's probably going to be a good idea to put the light on first because that was playing Danny Boy quite happily. But let's bring that that way. Now, can we change the timing on this? Play a tune in the background caption. Um, it's saying it's uh, it's saying it's 18 seconds. What's this one? That's 17 seconds. Can we get anything that's a little bit? Uh, let's go for a bit of waltzing Matilda. Is that any? Any quicker? Oh no, that's worse. Uh, um, that's about 10 minutes long. Um, oh, let's try that one. Okay, so have a look, have a bit of play, see what you want to really fancy. But I think we're stuck in the fact that it's going to play the whole tune all the way through until it comes back round again, and then it will make a decision to go through. Okay, so that's the uh, second one done for gold. That was the um, music box. So the second one, this is the uh, challenge H. So this says the piezo plays a tune, a tone which goes up and down in response to the current light levels. Even better if the button has to be held down at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna have to introduce another kind of concept here. So let's have a look. All right, and see if we can get this working. So let's just get rid of all that, okay, and start. So we're gonna start. Now, for this to work, we're gonna to need to use the um, sound box. So let's get the sound box, let's see if we can find it. Okay, so there's uh, sound. Now, in sound, let's have a look and see what it's got. So it can play uh, a note, or I can play a value. Ah, here we go. So I can play a value and I can give a number. Now I wonder if I can give that a variable. Ah, right. So if I go to pitch, at, down here I've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. These are variables. So I'm going to call this A. Okay. And I'm going to say play that for half a second through G4, okay, and say okay. So what's happened is I've 
I've made a variable and I've got so a, a, a space to save a value and I've called it A. Okay, now depending on what A is, it's going to play a different sound. So if A is high, it will play a high pitch sound. If it's low, it'll play another, a low pitch sound. Let's just try that and see if we can get that. So what I want to do is um, I'm going to use the analog box, okay, because this is going to be off the light sensor. I'm going to go into here. Okay, so this is called A1. So there's a value here which is going to be called A1. So that will be recorded in the way. Okay. So that's going to feed on to here. So when whatever A1, we need to somehow say whatever A1 is, make that the same as A. And then when this changes, this will change the note. So that as the light's going up, then the tone will go up as well. Okay. Okay, so I need to look through the boxes, and what I'm looking for is something that's going to store a value for me. So I've got these boxes here that are saying in and out, so they may be useful, so I can actually read a value in. Let's try that. Let's try using an inbox. What does that do? Ah, here we go. Right. So I've used the inbox. Okay, so it's going to take a reading from the analog. Okay, and I've said when it's when it's in the whole range. So whatever it is, so the no, I'm just going to bring back the way. Okay, because it will always be taking a reading. So if, yeah, whatever it's doing, it's going to go that way. Okay, so it's going to take a reading off there. We're going to call the variable a, and it's going to be coming from a1. So whatever this is reading, we're going to set this into there and say OK. All right. So whatever that matches, that should then play that sound. Let's see if there's a time on there. Let's make it a little bit longer. Let's go one second. OK. And let's bend that back round to here. OK. Let's see if this works. So first of all, I'm just going to push play there. That will tell me if there's any errors going on here. Okay, so it looks like it's always going through there. All right, let's try on here. Okay, so that's constantly playing that one. Okay. Now, there is another way of changing the LDR. So what I'm doing over here, I can actually go onto this bit here. Will let me? Oh, no, it won't. Sorry. I click. Let's bring it down. Okay, can you hear the difference there if I bring that right down? Okay, and that's that's a way of being able to use a variable, just like you do in computing, you store a value so it's reading something from that LDR, it's turning it into that, and then here, instead of saying play sound A, um, a high C or whatever, you're, you're picking, um, using the pitch as A, and that's selecting it, so it's saying whatever A is, play it. Okay, all right, I hope that's been useful.